How's it going everyone? Dan here and welcome back to Dan Plays the Final Fantasy Got the Perfect it's time for another challenge run. Today's challenge run is called Cursed. Should be pretty straightforward what Cursed is. We're Maggie. Every room or every door is a cursed door. Meaning we're going to take a half heart every time we go out of a door. Meaning basically if we don't heal, um, if we take too much damage, we lose basically. It's a... This is a true endurance test. You still have item rooms, but it's basically uh, how fast do you know? Oh, wait, we already have all the mapping out of. Never mind. Basically, you don't want to waste time then on the floor. You go to your essential rooms. If you don't get HP drops, you're kind of screwed. You're just kind of, you know, dead. Basically, screwed, dead. Same difference. I don't think boss doors are changed. All special doors remain unchanged. Just the same. Just the uh, normal doors get changed to curse room doors, so that means you can't you can't fool around. And you go to your important rooms, that's it. Go to your vital rooms on every floor and don't waste any time, or just build your run around uh, HP, you know, like you normally should do anyway. Oh God! Okay, we made it through without taking damage, and uh, of course. This is where I need the bomb, and I don't have said bomb. That kind of sucks. Alright. Anyways, hope everyone's doing alright today. I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually doing a lot better now that I finally finished Dark Souls 3 yesterday. Holy crap. That game. The last, like, three or four boss fights in that game. Oh my god. With the champion monstro in this small room. Come on, man. Don't be doing me like that. You're dirty. Anyway, yeah, the last few boss fights in that game were just amazing. I'm not disappointed at all. So much fun that game. A lot of pain and torture, but definitely a lot of fun. I'll probably end up at some point playing through it a second time with a different character. Just because I feel like the character I made in the, in the current game was honestly super gimped. I basically played through the game at a super... Um, disadvantage because Dex is just the the lesser used stat out of the melee out of the melee classes so yeah I need, I need to pump my strength in that game so I think I want to make a second strength character and see how that gets me but not immediately I, I think I'm done with Dark Souls for a long long time also just notice we're gonna automatically just not able to get devil deals at all just because of the fact that we're gonna be taking red heart damage constantly through these doors so literally I think the gist of this one is you just got to play this game without devil deals unless you somehow got multiple spirit hearts before you came down here which maybe through that tinted rock we could have but there's no way yeah I'm just gonna save my bomb you just gotta hope the RNG of the item rooms gives us enough to win or just gotta hope that the boss room RNG is good enough to win. But this one just really comes down to chance, but usually you don't have much of a issue with this. We're only going to mom, meaning a single orbital basically wins the game. I have no keys. Why didn't I notice that I had no keys? I will admit, every every door looking like a curse room makes me think that every room is literally a curse room. What the hell? That is where the door should be. Don't be trying to screw me out of my secret room, okay, game? Oh, man. But yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of an early, early morning recording before I go to work. Or before I start getting ready for work, so to say. If I did it before I go to work, uh, that's probably not the best idea. I think I've actually tried to record an Isaac video before heading off to work. And in fact, it was actually, I tried recording Gungeon before going to work. And I had like literally an hour before I had to go to work and I ended up with like a 45 to 50 minute run. So that was not like the smartest decision I've ever made. So I'm definitely trying to be a little bit more efficient with my time. Definitely. And seeing as now that Dark Souls is done for now, I think that'll open up an opportunity to play like just some more lighthearted childhood games. I mean, sure, I got Paper Mario going on right now, but I think I have one more that I've wanted to replay ever since doing it poorly on the previous channel, so 
Depends on if I can emulate it properly. Because usually it gives me a little bit of frame drop issues no matter what computer I emulate it on. But then again, I tried emulating it on my older computer. Somehow we still got the devil deal. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Oh. But do you take the devil deals is, is the question here. Do you really lower yourself all the way down? Well, I was gonna, say, I was gonna take the shovel and just say, "Hey, I'm gonna start skipping floors." Then I won't have healing ability at all. So here's what I'm gonna do: I'm gonna take a little brimstone, and that's it. And then we're just gonna leave. But then the item room, mm -mm. the item room don't exist right now. If we get to the boss room and we ain't been to all the other, all the other rooms on the floor, well, that's too bad because. That item room is not that important. Is it worth a... You gotta, you gotta calculate the damage you'll take on the way back, man. And honestly, Lil Brimstone is enough to beat Mom. By itself. Straight up. So, all I gotta do is make it to Mom. Which is why I questioned, you know, buying the shovel. But I was like, well, will I even make it to... Oh, BFFs. Oh, well, now it's almost a foregone conclusion we're gonna win. As long as we survive that long. Because little Brimstone BFF is just gonna carry everything at that point. Who cares about my damage? I may have just gotten like three damage ups on that last floor. But I have freaking um little Brimstone BFFs. What was that what was I saying just now though? I, I can't remember what I was literally just saying. Crap. I thought I was saying something about either Isaac or something about the channel. Like, I don't really know. Freaking 30 second memory is too strong. I don't know what this pill is. I hope it's not a health downgrade. Ooh, it's balls of steel. Get the box. Oh yeah, we have Child's Heart as well, which is also giving us more red hearts, which is kind of vital for this challenge run. Are you wizard doesn't even matter. Oh, but both of these win the game for us. Just we'll take them both. Why take them both? You you know why we take them both. Come on. Gimpy for the red heart payouts and the potential spear heart payouts since we're getting hit every room. Dark bum because it's dark bum. Those just those two items together are like the sexiest sexiest combination that you can get in a devil deal. Besides the obvious um um, Brimstone Mom's knife right next to each other. Not, not that that's really a great combination in itself, because it's really not. I, I kind of don't like Brim Mom's knife. I mean, there's no downside to it, but it, it kind of rubs me the wrong way, that combination. I mean, if you think about it, really, Mom's knife Brimstone is like, is literally no different than just normal Mom's knife. You just get a, a spray of beams after every launch, which is not that bad. Now, we'll see whether or not that was a good idea to throw away all of the HP. Thank you, Gimpy, for that payout that I'm going to have to go back there and get. It'll be worth it. But we'll see if it was worth it to throw away that much HP on a run like this. That was a waste of the freaking Yum Heart. Jesus. It's starting to look like it might not be, especially if you get hit in here. Oh. Oh, Blackheart, where'd that come from? I don't know, that was probably Mystery Sacks doing. Don't worry, I like to play loose. Gotta get on the edge when you do this challenge, man. Who cares how risky things are, as long as you win. As long as you play on the edge. You play on the edge. You always win. Pentagram. See, I think I think this challenge literally just tempts you with devil deals. I'm not gonna take any more though. Especially that. that that's just not worth it. You ha you have to keep at least two red arts, because if you don't, then once you run out of spear arts from just running through curse room doors, you're just kinda screwed. And by kinda screwed, I mean you really are screwed, but Oh, especially on a floor like freaking Necropolis, you know, that can just summon some bullshit enemies on you. Remember that. 
Oh my god. Okay, well things have gone to shit really quickly. I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use this um secret room. To skip that room. Uh, I don't know about that on this run. I don't really know about all that now. That's a little bit much. Do we throw this whole run into fucking chaos? We're missing though. On a freaking challenge on a cursed. I don't know about that personally. That sounds like a terrible idea now that I think about it. Do I do it though is the question. We already have a winning run here. Do we want to make it a losing run or potentially dangerous? Ah oh, fuck I'm doing it. Doing it. What we got? Uh, I don't know what we got now. We got a lower damaging run, I'll tell you that much. We replaced a little brimstone with a little dirty. You know why I do these things? Because I can, basically. Our range is terrible, by the way. This is the extent of my range right now. Wait, did I just kill the mask by running into me? What the fuck? How'd I do that? Uh, Let me get this. Guppy's head. Normally useful right now is not. Can't get anything from the shop. Still have a chariot card. Was it a wise decision to do that? No. But it does liven the video up a little bit. Is it a throw? Yeah, hell yeah, it's a throw. But we don't know it's a throw until... Oh god. Oh no. You wouldn't. Game, you wouldn't. The green blow, really? You hate me that much? Jesus. Alright, I think the game hates me, boys. Green fucking bloat. My only nemesis. I fuck this. He just share your card. 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 He dead. Yeah, I really think it does just just give you constant devil deals. Well, we don't need them now since we're not actually going to be getting any benefit from these said items. Now I'm missing though. What are you gonna give me for my last run? Some like soy milk, my reflection bullshit. Some soy milk proptosis. Ipecac, use mascara, mom's knife, fruitcake, rosary. Okay, you gave me a pretty good run for this last floor. Just, just simple as that. Mom's knife, use mascara. That is basically GG. We have no map though. As long as we make it to the boss fight in a reasonable amount of time, this is a game set and match. The world, the world does nothing. Oh, and this is probably going to be the problem. This is actually probably an actual curse room now that I think about it. This room layout usually always leads to a curse room, in my opinion. I think I've seen it sometime. Nope, never mind. I don't know anything anymore. At least you can tell where our mini boss is, since that room's not. Since we have so many spear hearts, it might even be worth it to take Shoop the Whoop. Since, in theory, we shouldn't have to run through that many rooms to get to... The end. Will I regret my decision? I think I probably will, because this is a dead end. You know what? We're probably not going to do that. This this right here is a throw, if, if we manage to do that. So, you know what? Forget what I just said. Forget what I just said, because we've already lost, like, two spear hearts. Every two rooms we go through is another spear heart down, so... I don't trust that. God, I don't trust this. This is, like, freaking me out, actually. Oh, my God, another dead end. Oh, and any extra damage you take on top is just horrible. Jesus, chill out with the damage. Oh my god, we've lost all that HP, I just said. I might just make it to the mom fight with just just a few red hearts. That's all I care. Just just oh, can I even hit these? Yeah, yes I can. Go ahead, Robo Baby. I saw you. Well we've lost all those spirit hearts. It would have been a terrible idea to take shoot the wolf now. 
It's a good thing I caught myself. You know it'd be funny if we ended up losing with a really good run. Reroll your stat. Oh no, reroll rewards. No, we don't want that either. Oh no. How good is my mapping? Answer, not very good. I buy this. Just keep me going for two rooms. If our speed was fast enough, we'd be able to get through with just one hit of damage if it's an empty room. At this point now, if we don't make it through four rooms without finding the boss, we're dead. And that, we might even want to pay for this. Why? That's why. I might literally, I think we literally would have been dead if I didn't find the the boss in four rooms. Oh, and there's the boss. And there was a Tinted Rock. Tinted Rock contains fate rewards. And we made it, so I think that's game. That should be game. Oh, that's definitely game. Holy crap. Wait, what? What did I get hit by at the last second? What? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just just leave. I don't even want I don't even want to touch this challenge no more. <laughs> oh god, that one that one could go wrong if in many ways. Jesus. I hope you guys enjoyed the run today. If you did, please leave a like and this have a ton. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because I'll always be more Isaac. Every single day. So thank you for your time. Thank you for support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next Isaac run. See you then.